Unfortunately, the automotive world has lost one of its greats recently. If you have watched any kind of automotive TV or read magazines or anything like that, you know who Jessie Combs is. Unfortunately, she has recently passed trying to break one of her own records. She's probably most recognizable from some TV shows such as Extreme 4x4, Overhauling, or Two Girls Garage. But she has had her hands in so many different parts of the automotive industry that you wonder where she gets all the time to do it. She was recently killed in a crash trying to break a record. In 2013, she entered the North American Eagle Supersonic Speed Challenge, breaking a record of 398 miles an hour, earning her the title of the fastest woman on four wheels. Just this last October, she went back to beat that record and in the shakedown run hit 483 miles per hour in her 52,000 horsepower jet car. Unfortunately, due to some mechanical issues, she wasn't able to make the record-breaking run and fulfill her goal. Now, that didn't stop her from pursuing the goal of being the fastest woman on Earth. That goal was set by Kitty O'Neill in 1976. Now, in order to break that goal, Jessie would have had to hit 512 miles per hour. Just to even say that is mind-blowing. I can't imagine doing 512 miles an hour on land. Unfortunately, during her recent attempt to break this record and become the fastest woman on Earth, she was involved in a fatal crash and left a huge scar on the automotive world. She left behind a list of accomplishments and achievements, and I'm just going to run through a couple of them. Again, I'll reiterate, she was on TV shows such as Extreme 4x4, Truck U, Overhauling, Two Girls Garage, um... She made a few debut runs at Mythbusters. She also was responsible for the All Girls Garage TV show. She was a Baja racer. She made a Class 10 podium finish at the Baja 1000. And she was the first woman to compete in the Race of Gentlemen event. But she would also get her hands dirty as well, which is why she was a master fabricator amongst many other things. It's sad to see her go at 39 years old, but... You have to admit that she died doing what she loved, and from what you could tell, she never had regrets. So how many of you out there watched her on TV or kept up with her record-breaking runs, watched her off-roading in Jeeps while listening to Beastie Boys, Brass Monkey? I mean, there is a lot of stuff out there on her. She's done a lot for the automotive industry, and she will be sorely missed. If you have any memories of watching Jessie on TV, maybe meeting her person at a meet or a race or anything, put them down in the comments. Let's see how many comments and or memories we can get of Jessie down, down below. I used to watch her on Power Block. Now it's Power Nation and all those other TV shows are overhauling. She, was, she had, always had her hands in everything. She was always the one welding up all the metal. She was, you know, Chip Foose's right-hand man woman sorry um but you know what i'm trying to say she was really innovative in what she did she was a pioneer in the automotive industry for many 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 different things and definitely a role model for a lot of women so it's sad to see her go at 39 years old but again she did she did what she did because she loved doing it so it's not like she was forced into anything and trying to break a record of 512 miles an hour you got to give her credit. You know, it's she's she's got a set to have to go out and do something like that. So I can't take that away from her. So unfortunately, it's not the kind of news I wanted to report. But, you know, sometimes not all news is good news. She is going to be sadly missed. That's for sure. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. And I'll catch you on the next video.